We're going to do a calibration on either an L-series or a G-series dual setpoint switch. The difference between the L-series and the G-series is simply the case. The L-series has a die-cast aluminum case and the G-series has a stainless steel case. We're going to work with the L-series case, a dual setpoint case. The first thing we're going to do is take the cover off the case and then connecting the wires from the light box to the switch. This is a dual set point switch. It has two micro switches, so therefore we have to have six wires. The white wire is in front, that is the common contact. The blue wire is in the center, that is the normally open contact. The red wire is in the back, that is the normally closed contact. And you have to wire each of the micro switches. Set points for the switch can be either increasing or decreasing on either the A or the B side. You have to be 3% of range apart in set points between the B and the A. However, the B has to be the higher of the two set points. The first step of calibration is to exercise the switch. We do that by taking the switch from 0 to 100% of range, which is 100 PSI in this case. take it to 100 and back to zero. We do this three times. The L-Series has set point adjustment scales. On the left, we have the scale for the A side. On the right, we have the scale for the B side. This switch is going to be set at 80 PSI increasing on the B side and 20 PSI decreasing on the A side. Prior to setting the switch, we are going to use the scales to approximate the set point. We will set the B side to be above the 80 PSI and the A side to be below the 20 PSI. The reference is from the bottom of the knob to the scale. To set the set point, I'm going to set the higher of the two set points first, the 80 PSI on the A side. So I'm going to take the pressure to 80 PSI and then adjust the switch, the B side switch to turn on. I'm going to turn the B adjustment knob counterclockwise until the right-hand side set of lights uh, turn green. It just turned green. Now I'm going to set the A side adjuster to turn off. I'm going to bring it down to 20 PSI. and then turn the A side adjuster clockwise until the light on the left hand side turns from green to red. It just has. Now I have approximately set the set point, so I need to measure the two of them and see if they are actually within tolerance. With the L and the G series switch, Changing one set point and the other may affect the other, so it is always best to check them both and then make any adjustments as required. Our set point is a little bit low at 79. I'm going to check the reset point and I think we will make another adjustment for the B switch and it is a little bit high. So we are going to make an adjustment on both sides to bring it in a little bit closer. So what I'm going to do is turn 
the set point up a little bit on the B side and down a little bit on the A side and then do the test. We'll measure the B side set point first. It's just above where I want it to be, so we will take it back to 80 and adjust it slightly to turn. Now I'm going to take it to the A side set point. Measure the set point. And it is now exactly at 20. Now what we're going to do is measure the set points one more time. And this time we will check the dead bands of both the A and the B side switch to see if they are correct. To measure the set points, we'll start at zero and we'll measure the set point of the B switch first, which is close to 80. So we'll rise the pressure up to just before 80. And we will move it slowly until the switch turns on, which is just about on 80. And then we will slowly bring it back to measure the dead band, the point at which this switch turns back to red. Should be approximately 70, giving us a dead band of 10. Then we will lower the switch down to the A side and measure the reset point first as a decreasing set point. It's set at just about 20. Now we'll increase the pressure to the point the switch turns back on again. That's approximately 25, so we have a dead band of five. Again, we will repeat this test three times for accuracy. For set points on vacuum range switches, it is best to think of the set point as a negative pressure. So an increasing vacuum set point is a decreasing pressure set point, and a decreasing vacuum set point is an increasing pressure set point.